Well, hello again, everyone. And uh, this has got to be a record for me. This is like two response videos in a single day. I am actually doing this one because I just watched Elisa Clegg's deconstruction on a new group that she found on Facebook called Socialism, Socialist Alternative. And she's discussing it as though it's kind of a pseudo-communist front group. However, I wanted to bring a quote to mind about this particular group. And this is a quote from Karl Marx's writings on other forms of socialism. And this comes from his section on Germanic socialism or true socialism. And uh, we're going to start the quote here. The work of the German literary consisted solely of bringing the new French ideas into harmony with the ancient philosophical con consensus, or rather, in annexing the French ideas without discerning their own philosophic point of view. This annexation took place in the same way in which a foreign language is appropriated, namely, by translation. It is well known how the monks wrote silly lives in Catholic saints over the manuscripts of which several classic works of ancient heathenism had been written. German literary reverse the process with the profane French literature. They wrote the philosophical nonsense beneath the French original. For instance, beneath the French criticism of the economic functions of money, they wrote alienation of humanity. And beneath the French criticism of the bourgeoisie state, they wrote dethroning the category of general, and so forth. The introduction of these philosophical phrases at the back of French historical criticism, they dubbed a philosophical action, true socialism, the German science of socialism, and the philosophical foundation of socialism, and so on. So, something I wanted to bring up was, the whole fundamental idea of socialism was nothing more than a derivation of communism. They still practice the same general tenets nationalization of private industry to be controlled by the people, a.k.a. the government, progressive income taxation to provide beneficial social services, mandatory environmental regulations to improve the quality of the soil, uh, mandatory work disproportionating which is where you spread out the workers into the fields that the government chooses, which the government is supposed to be controlled by the people. So technically, it's all the people doing this to themselves. So the whole 20th century notion that socialism and communism are two distinct entities is realistically a lot of bunk. And it seems that this group, Socialist Alternative, has come to realize this and has taken these critiques of other forms of, of socialism written by Karl Marx available in his manifesto to heart and instead have tried to push some of the philosophy back in, which is not all that unusual considering what cultural Marxists are actually doing. Well, I'm going to leave a link in the description to the video I'm responding to from Elisa Clegg. I'm also going to recommend that everybody go and check out some of her work. Her channel's a bit eclectic and definitely different than mine, so don't be afraid. I hope I didn't step on Alicia's toes, but Alicia, after you hear this, if this wants, if you want to start a dialogue, feel free. We can take this on over to minds.com or we can discuss it in messaging or even in the comments section between these two videos. We'll pick one and we'll take it there. If you have any questions or comments for me directly, please go ahead and put them below in the video, uh, below the video in the comment section. I pay attention to my comments. If you like what I'm doing here, please v like and subscribe. Uh, if you haven't visited me at minds.com, it's minds.com forward slash veteran mountain man. Don't forget, I also have a Patreon account. That's patreon.com forward slash veteran mountain man. And if you want to check out my channel on VidMe, I do have some VidMe exclusive content. That's vid.me forward slash veteran mountain man. 
Thank you all again for listening and have yourself a nice day.